How's everybody doing today? So we're going to be going over some ball mastery exercises that you can do right in your own home. Ball mastery has so many benefits. For starters, in the name, it works on ball mastery. Secondly, it works on your coordination, your rhythm, your balance, and so many other things. I guarantee you that if you do these exercises for the next two to three weeks while you're stuck at home, you're going to notice a huge improvement in your game. All right, so let's get into it. very important that we have a nice low center of gravity. So we're going to be in a nice athletic stance, nice little bend in our knees. We're not just staying upright as we do these exercises. Balance is going to be hugely important here. The first one we're going to do is toe taps. You want to focus on making sure the ball is moving side to side as you're doing your toe taps. You don't want the ball just standing still as you touch it. You want it moving slightly side to side. It doesn't have to be big movements, but slightly side to side with every single touch. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. We should be able to get at least 50 toe taps in here in these 30 seconds. All right, we'll start in five, four, three, two. See how the ball's just barely moving side to side? Doesn't have to be big movements. Once you get comfortable, push yourself to go as quick as you can. Then we're at 40. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, this one we're going to do in foundations. Again, very important that we have a nice low center of gravity, have a slight bend in my knees as I'm touching the ball side to side between my feet. You don't want to be upright with your knees locked out, bouncing side to side looking like you're waddling. You want to have a nice little bend in your knees, low center of gravity. Ready? We'll start in three, two, one. See how many touches you can get in 30 seconds. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, for this next one, we're just going to be doing soul rolls with a single foot. The only thing we want to focus on here is making sure the ball is leaving our hips with every roll. So it's coming side to side, just on one foot, leaving our body with every single roll. So here's what it's going to look like. I'm going side to side as my plant foot just bounces up and down. Ready? We're going to go into it for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Try to be in control once you get comfortable. It's a little bit quicker. Again, picking your head up, trying to see what's in front of you. My knee still has a slight bend in it. Seven more seconds. Three, two, one. Good, then I'm just gonna switch legs, go right into it. Ten more seconds. Five, four. Three, two. All right, next we're gonna do slow rolls with both. So we're just switching legs as we do them. Kind of similar to toe taps, but this time the ball is just leaving our hips, okay? Every single touch on side to side, just like this. Rolling with the bottom of our feet as it leaves our hips with every single touch. Ready? We'll start in three, two, one. Drag this a little bit bigger than toe taps. Inside outside, or just a single leg. So same idea as the single leg soul rolls. Our back leg is just bouncing. This time, we're just going to slowly tap the ball side to side. The important part here is that our ankle is a thing moving and not our whole leg. So it's not my whole leg coming around the ball like this. Just slightly touching side to side because my ankle moves side to side, just like this. Soft touches in the ball. All right, we're going to go in four, three, two. Knee down is just doing most of the work here, not my hips. Alright, 
Right now we're gonna do the same thing with our left. Ready? Go. Inside, switching feet. So it's very important again, both center of gravity. We're going to go outside to the right, inside to the right, outside to the left, inside to the left. And we're just switching back and forth for 30 seconds. We'll start in five, four, three, two, outside, inside, outside, inside. Again, small touches, you try to stay in this box. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. This last one, we're going to get a little more complicated. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing an L turn here. So I just drag back, push behind with that same leg. I'm going to catch it and do a 90 degree turn. So it's an L turn, same leg catches. Make your return. Very important that after the L turn, we shift our body really quickly, get some the ball, bring it back. All right? And we'll go in three, two, one, L turn, catch, drag back. It's all right for L turn, catch, drag back. L turn, catch, drag back. Don't forget, comfortable, let's try to go out match speed. Last one, ready? Three, two, one, L turn, catch, push, L turn, catch, push.